What's up, y'all? Welcome to Facebook Live. It's your boy, Y. Clef Jean. Um, first of all, I want to shout out my sister. She sent me this jacket. She knows that I'm into motorcycles, for real. So, um, shout out to my man, West the Best. He's holding the camera behind me. Y'all can't see this. Today, um, we're going to get into production. So, everybody that wants to be a producer or wants to be part of music, from beat making to creation of the music, the instruments and all that. Y'all could join me right now. I got a lot of plaques all over my walls, my house. So let me share some stuff with you today. Um, and thank you for everybody that's tuning in and everybody that keeps tuning in. Wes, you could see the comments as the crowds are talking. Um, anything, y'all wanna ask me questions, y'all could go ahead. My man Wes probably will call it back and y'all can, um, uh, and I'll respond back to y'all. But let's get into me as a musician. So, what y'all probably don't know is in high school, um, I fell in love with jazz and studied a lot of jazz. So this is how I was able to do this. So right here is, um, get a close up of this. Okay. So this actually was a, a soundtrack and I did what's called the score. The score is actually when you do the music for the actual movie. So that's what gives the emotion for the movie. I would never be able to do the score if, uh, if I didn't have this vast jazz background in, in the back of my head. So in my old high school, everybody from Velsburg, you already know, I was the best battle rapper. I never lost a battle. Y'all already know that. Yes, I took all of y'all out in the cafeteria. Don't hate. And then I love jazz. My, my jazz teacher, his name was uh, Mr. Hayes and uh, Valerie um, Price. She was my choir uh, teacher. So the interesting about this is shout out to Brian Grazier. A lot of y'all who don't know who Brian Grazier is, I bet y'all y'all know the show Empire. Brian Grazier put the Empire together. I remember he was talking to me about the Empire early and what he was going to do. And he actually gave me my first shot to score this movie um, with Eddie Murphy and uh, Martin Lawrence. Um, and that's some of the stuff that y'all probably don't know. What's my inspiration every day that I wake up and um, coming back into music? Um, you got to have a photo every day you wake up and be like, yo, um, I'm definitely going to do this. And I definitely know the music is just getting started. I learned that from Quincy Jones. So this is my inspirational cover right here. You know? So this is like the Rolling Stone cover when I had hair. Me, Jay, and Master P, you know? And I do believe that, you know, I'm getting ready to get into my next cycle of music. I'm very excited about the most important part, which is discovery. Um, finding new talent. So, speaking of that, we're going to 20th year anniversary of the score. Shout out to the Fujis. They're probably watching this right now. You know what I mean? Fact check. This is some of the stuff that we've done, right? Um, and I think right now the Fujis is probably over 20-something million records. And they constantly keep selling. Um, one of your favorite records on the score is... Killing me softly. So today, what I decided to do was we're gonna go behind the scenes of some of how Killing Me Softly was created. And I know the Fuji's is probably like, wow, it's gonna give them some serious memories, you know what I mean? So I don't have to book a basement no more, but I got my own basement, you know what I mean? So so we're going here. So, Wes, do we have questions so far? Is anything? Or Mainly you... inspiration. What's your inspiration to get you out of Haiti and start doing music? Oh, my inspiration to get me out of Haiti and start doing music. My daddy came to America, man. He was an immigrant. Work visa ran out. He had to go underground. True story. And, um, you know, he left me when I was one, came back and got me in the village when I was 10. Um, grew up in Marlboro Projects in Brooklyn, and then we lived in Flatbush, Nordstrom, Utica, all over. Then my mama moved us to New Jersey, 
You know what I mean? So that's how it happened. Now, for all of the Fuji fans, musicians on all, so let's start with the chords for like, um, the chords for, for Killing Me Softly, right? So the first chord would be... Who can guess what chord this is? So this is um, um, F minor, right? But check it out, right? So, so check it. Boom, 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 boom. Right? So this is like a minor scale, right? Right? And it's important for y'all to understand what I mean, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? So if I go... If I say F minor seventh, right, and I want to add the seventh, right, so then I would count, right? You would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, right? So then when you hit the F, right, so check it out. F, you add the seventh, show them my hand. This finger right here gives you the seventh, F minor seven, right? You see this? This is an F minor seven. I need y'all to press. So this is the first chord to killing me softly. So it's like, ba, 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 right? That's the first chord. Then you have the second chord, which is this. Can anybody guess what chord this is? Get a close up on my hands. I want to see if anyone can guess what chord this is. One more time. I know I have tricky fingers. One, two, three, right? What comes after A? So let's see what chord this is. So if we're going like this, do. Mi fa sol la. Okay. Right. A. Then what would this be? I need somebody to guess. I ain't gonna tell y'all. Okay. So I'm gonna play the chords very slow, and I'm not telling y'all every chord because I want y'all to guess. And let's give them discovery. I'm gonna play this very slow for y'all so y'all can get it. Okay. And y'all could keep practicing this over again. So when I was in a booger basement, I was like this. I'm gonna go real slow. Get the chords. One more time, okay? Just the chords. Check it out, check the swerve. the scale do, do, do. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. so I mean you put this together and um so for me you know the break beats are always very important so shout out to tribe called quest because we clearly jacked their Bonita Apple Bun. I don't care what anybody said. So I think Tribe deserves way more credit than they do. Everybody be like, Fuji's, Fuji's. One time, two time. I'm like, man, y'all better go listen to that old Tribe Called Quest. Because if we ain't hear that, that wasn't going to happen. So um, so let me put it together for y'all. Y'all ready to put it together? Any more questions? Any questions coming through? Okay. So I'm going to put it together for y'all. Um, so what I do, let me just put the old tribe in, you know what I mean? So let's let's just loop the old tribe called Quest. right here.
to the bridge now, okay? So we got... Remember that thing I showed you earlier? Slick, slick, slick. There you go. This one the crowd sing, let's go. So it's like, um, it was that we ended. We go, um. right? So, you already know, man, why Clef Music 101. This was uh, Killing Me Softly. Want to shout out Heads Music and shout out to the Knox working on my new album. It's gonna be crazy. First single is a record called My Girl, Brooklyn Bowl. First show already sold out. Brooklyn, I'm coming soon. Uh, I think they're putting up a second show up now. The Carnival Man is definitely back. I heard I'm going to be in South by South. The rumor is, you know, the Carnival Man's back. There's a whole tour being set up, so I look forward to going to the colleges, the high schools all over. Um, I hope you enjoyed your Wyclef Music Theory 101. And um, uh, y'all enjoy yourselves and... Um, we signing off. Um, oh, let me play another jam. But we signing off, right? Let's see him. Shout out to West, the best holding the camera down. Wicked engineer and producer too. Shout out, man. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all class today. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Bernie Sanders. He got competition. Hillary Clinton. She got competition. Donald Trump. He got competition. Marco Rubio. He got competition. Vote for me. Vote for me. Why Clef for president? Y'all already know what it is, man. I love y'all catching the vibe. And shout out to my homie Dave Chappelle. I'm going to see y'all next week. Facebook mentions, music theory. Oh, yeah. And listen, everyone who's watching this, just do me one favor right now. Go to whyclef.com and subscribe right now to get all your goodies, baby. Love y'all. Y'all already know. And, oh, Melky, once again, thanks for the jacket. Shout out Claudia. What's up? Angelina, what's good? Young West, we up in here. Oh, get, get my T.I. plaque, man. Shout out to the homie T.I., man. Yeah, shout out to the homie T.I., man. I miss T.I. Looking forward to that, man. And, uh, and, uh, and of course, we got more plaques coming up for y'all. Uh, who's that? It's Carlos Santana, right? Shout out to Carlos Santana. Maria, Maria. Speaking of Maria, Maria, right? So, next week, we can talk about how I created Maria, Maria. You know what I mean? Um, and who knows, man, we got to find Santana because it's always better when somebody else tells a story, right? I'll see y'all, man. Why Clef Music Theory 101, man, I'm out.